HTC quarter results continue to disappoint in profits. The Nokia Lumia 1020 gets rumored along with a possible launch date, and the white Nexus 4 is gone, and for good. I'm Jaime Rivera, and the weekend has begun, guys, so I'm pressing pause and calling it a day. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start the day off with the usual batch of Moto X rumors because I know this phone is going to be a victim of its own hype. So far, Canadian carriers are assuring that the phone will be available to launch in August with a possible announcement to happen on July 11th. Now, given the fact that July 11th is pretty much a couple of days from now, I don't really see an announcement happening so soon, but you never know. Stay tuned for more rumors. And for all of you that were interested in that HP Slate 7, uh, stop fighting guys, raise your hands. Well, HP is now discounting the tablet by 30 bucks, so it's now gonna be below the $200 price range in its highest end 16 gig model. Uh, and still, I mean, we could always just wait for HP to keep dropping that price until we have a new HP touchpad here. Anyways. And for those of you that were interested in the white Nexus 4, I'm sorry to report that the phone is no longer being sold in the Google Play Store, not just because it's sold out, but because the company is not bringing it back. Google does take that limited edition phrase seriously. You can still get the phone on T-Mobile, obviously not as cheap as it was in the Google Play Store, and oh well, it was sad while it lasted. And you know, we're still debating if Nokia's new flagship is going to be called the Lumia 909 or the Lumia 1020. We have solid leaks that say 909, and then we've got new reports in paper that state the price tag, 602 bucks, which is odd. And then the fact that it's going to be called the Lumia 1020, and that it's going to be available on sale on July 22nd, which would be the first time in history that you don't get a Windows phone being announced today and being launched six months from now. You know that the announcement's going to happen on July 11th, so stay tuned, let's see what it's gonna be called. And finally, for the very sad news of the day, HTC's quarter results are out and they are not good at all. The company is down 83% in profits and don't even let me get started with the revenue. The company wasn't able to maintain the momentum of sales of the HTC One during the month of May. And you know, if a hot phone can't pull you out of the water, I don't know what can. So, you know, that leads me to the question of the day. If you were an advisor to HTC right now, what would you tell Peter Chow to do to get the company out of all these problems? In my particular case, well, I haven't seen any more marketing after the Champions League. Let me know if you've seen any more. Uh, and in another case, honestly, why did they raise the price of the HTC One in May? I mean, that was something that was bound to happen. They should have can maintain the price, keep the phone attractive, get rid of all that inventory so that you can be able to build more phones, keep that cash flow flowing. Leave us a comment down below. What would you do? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.